Hi, I'm Paula Renova, and today we're going to talk about sequential numbers. And before we start diving into this topic, make sure you like this video, that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and that you also comment your experience, your thoughts, and your feelings about this topic, and that you share it with people that you know are going to benefit from this. So what are sequential numbers in the cardinal method? They're also known as angel numbers, right? When you see repeated numbers, that means that you're connected to what we can call a language of consciousness in the cardinal method, which is the method I developed. So it's nice not to be too superstitious or to get anxious about any of the topics that we discuss here in our channel. Crystals or astrology or sequential numbers, these are meant to bring you well-being. The cardinal method is all about lightness and the joy of life and soul healing and consciousness expansion. So all the information that we're bringing about sequential numbers in this video and also the other topics that we talk about are meant to bring joy and lightness. So this is meant to be fun, right? But it is a serious topic because energy and the universe are based in math and geometry. So sequential numbers in the cardinal method, each of them, each number has a specific energy, a specific consciousness that we're going to talk about in this video. But when you see at least two numbers together, like 11 or 22 or 33 or 44, like minutes in the, in the clock or the watch, sometimes you see them in bills, right? There are different places where you can see sequential numbers. At least two of them together mean that you are aligning with your sacred path. When you see three sequential numbers, like 1, 11, or 2, 22, or something like that, it really is a confirmation that you are on the best track. So in a nutshell, that's what it means. To see sequential numbers, you are on the right track. If you see numbers in sequence, like 1, 23, or 2, 34, or something like that, that means you need, you can, you have enough energy to move forward a little further. So you can give a little more, a bit more of yourself. And if you see them in, if you see them decreasing, like two, one, zero, or three, two, one, it means slow down. You're moving too fast. Okay. So it's just a little language of consciousness that I call these consciousness reminders in the carnal method. So that's what they mean. Sequential numbers, repeated numbers, crescendos, or decreasing numbers, they each have a specific kind of meaning. And when we, when we talk about the numbers themselves, in the cardinal method, number one is about alignment and elevation. So one is like a pillar of light that you are ascending, you know, in a vertical line, raising your vibration. So that's what one means in the cardinal method. Number two is about healing. In the cardinal method, when you see number two, especially sequential twos, it means you're healing. And healing is all about going back to your natural state of health and well-being. It could be physical, it could be emotional, it could be mental, it could be financial, your relationships, you know where you need healing, right? So two is always telling you healing is here. So that's the, what number two means. When you think about number three in the cardinal method, it's about balance. We talked about slowing down because we're moving too fast or, you know, you can give a little more. You can go move forward a little faster. So balance is three, right? Divine proportion. We use this concept a lot in the cardinal method. So three is about balance. Four is about structure. It's about building your foundations. It means the universe is saying, yes, you're creating structure for yourself. Sequential fours mean this is grounded. This is solid. This is centered. When we think about number five, five is about order and organization, organizing energy, organizing yourself. So when we think about the numbers one, two, three, four, and five, we're talking about our inner world, our individuality. When we travel up to number six, from six to nine, that's external world energy. So it's you in relationship to the outside world. So from six forward, it's all about expansion. So number six is harmony in all relationships 
right? If you think of three, three and three are six. So two people, two balanced people in harmony. So six is about harmony in all your relationships. It doesn't necessarily mean just with people. It could be with objects or places or energies, anything, any kind of relationship. So that's what six is all about. When we think about number seven, seven is about awakening consciousness in the carnal method. When I say consciousness, I'm talking about spirituality and spirit. So it's about awakening your mind, connecting your mind to spirituality. It's spiritual awareness. It's spiritual consciousness. Okay, spiritual awakening. Seven is a spiritual number. Number eight, and if you think of eight graphically, right, visually, it's a vertical infinity symbol. So as above, so below, right? Um, the, ab the infinite abundance of the universe, of the sky, of spirit, manifesting in the physical world, in matter. So eight is about abundance. When you see 808 in your watch or clock, that means you're aligned with abundance. Sequential eights anywhere, right? The more the merrier. And when we talk about nine, nine is about spirituality, but it's beyond seven because seven is your spiritual awakening. It's your connection with spirit. Nine is the awareness that you have so much within yourself, you have so much to give that you can be of service to others and to the world. So it's about sharing and being of service spiritually. It's about spiritual service. It's about helping others. Spiritual service is not necessarily um, religious. It could be helping other people, knowing you have so many resources, you have so much within, you have so much to give that you can be of service to others and to the world. So it's that kind, it's more action oriented too. It's very, very spiritual. And the last one that I want to mention here is zero, right? Zero is about depth and it's also about transparency. It's about the void of truth. It's about the raw truth, if you will. And zero is very powerful aligned with other numbers because it just deepens the strength of other numbers. It strengthens other numbers that it's next to. So it's about depth. It's about truth. It's about transparency and also boosting the other numbers that it's next to. So one is the pillar of light. Zero is like the void of creation and from where all creation has sprouted from, right? And it's about depth and transparency and the truth. So this is what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that it brings wonderful things to your life, that it brings insights, that it makes your daily life more magical in a good way, right? In a fun way, knowing this is serious, but it's also light and joyful. And if you have any questions, please comment and ask your questions below this video. Make sure you share it with people that you know are gonna benefit from this. And I would love to know what you're thinking, so don't forget to comment. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you soon.